Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. Come watch me stream. Yeah. Why is my table so dusty all the time? Yep. It's one of those kinds of days, kids. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Is it bad that I could fully go to bed at 3.45 p.m. because I could fully go to bed at 3.45 p.m. <laughs> I just realized that I'm in a full middle kid ensemble. Buy it all. Now this might just be a new habit I've picked up in quarantine where I forget anything that's happened unless it was in the last 24 hours and even then still shaky. So I don't remember fully when the last time we did a mukbang on this channel was but I feel like it's been a while. When I do mukbangs, I really try and put some kind of theme or effort into it, not just like order food and then film a video and call it a day. Whew, as much as I would love to do that. So yeah, I was thinking of what I could do for a mukbang and I realized that I haven't shopped at the grocery store, Trader Joe's, since probably the beginning of this pandemic when I did like a grocery store mukbang. So because of all of this, I went to my neighborhood, Trader Joe's, and I went up and down the aisles like a sexy little shopper and I picked up Someone just knock on my door. Anyways, I picked up a bunch of stuff that I have never tried from Trader Joe's and we are gonna get into it and see what's good, what you should never buy. And I guess those are the only two categories, so. But before we get into the video, as you guys know, I dedicate my videos to different small businesses, organizations, or causes that could use some love or affection. And today's is extra special because it's also the sponsor of this video, which is Omaze. Thank you so much for sponsoring. You guys might remember that I previously worked with them a few months back and I've donated to their campaigns, but if you're unaware, Omaze is a platform that really empowers nonprofits to continue carrying out their world-changing work. Omaze has obviously been seeing the differences that we've been making through these video dedications and for the campaign that I want to shout out through Omaze today is benefiting the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. Now the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals will be using the funds from this giveaway along with a grant from CIF America to help build out and enhance a state-of-the-art epilepsy monitoring unit and this specialized unit will be part of the hospital's already established Leon Pediatric Neuroscience Center of Excellence, which is devoted to providing life-changing care to kids of all ages for a broad range of neurological disorders, including epilepsy. Now with any Omaze campaign, when you donate, you are entering for your chance to win really cool prizes for this campaign. You can win a Florida dream house or a million dollars cash, and another winner will be picked to win a brand new Tesla Model 3, shipping and taxes included. You could be driving the same car as me while helping out someone else. I don't know what any of those hand gestures were, but let's just forget that happened. With all of that being said, I'm going to leave the link down below to the Omaze campaign where you can go and support the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and also enter for a chance to win. I mean, there's thousands of prizes that you're able to win. So go down below, donate, and also enter for your chance to win. I have to say, sharing all this fun news made my tummy a little hungry, so let's get into all of the things I have never tried from Trader Joe's. What do you say? <laughs> you don't really have a choice. <laughs> all right, Chris, you're laughing alone. Uh, we all heard it. Alrighty, so this is <laughs> psychotic. So this is everything that I got at Trader Joe's that I feel like I haven't tried. The only thing I have had here before, I believe, are these. I mean, obviously, strawberries. So the reason I have strawberries is because I saw this chocolate hummus, which I've never literally heard of. When I was checking out, the cashier said that these are really good with strawberries, so I got strawberries. We're gonna put this to the test. I'm not sure if this is vegan. I tried to get as much vegan stuff as possible, but there are things that aren't vegan. Okay, this honestly smells... Let's just try it. Ooh, that is weird. I'm gonna try this alone. This is so weird. I genuinely thought that this was gonna be a home run. I am weirded out by the texture. It's like kind of grainy. Like I'd rather just get Nutella. This is weird. I don't know if I'd recommend. <laughs> what a start. The next thing I'm gonna try are these crunchy sprinkle cookies. Wow, these cookies definitely look like they earned the adjective crunchy in their title. This is what they look like. Mmm. Now see, that's interesting. On one hand, it's almost took out my front tooth. But on the other hand, 
I'd like it to take out my other front tooth. I'm not usually a huge crunchy cookie fan, but I think I would buy these again. There's something satisfying about them. You know? Wow, these are fucking fire. <laughs> Moving on, Chris. We have Trader Joe's organic fruit flavored snacks. Yeah, these look just like fruit snacks. Yeah, these are stuck to my fucking teeth. Shit, these are actually pretty fucking good. These are really good. Oh my god, and they're with six fun animal shapes. Oh my god, even better. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that these might actually be better than the Welch's ones, but they're still not as good as Gushers, but they are fucking close. Woo! I did find a bunch of bags of chips that I was interested in. These are organic white truffle potato chips. Come on, chip. What? All right, here we go. Oh my god. These chips, oh. The first one I had was packed with truffle. The second one I just had tasted like just a normal potato chip with like a sprinkle of truffle salt. I'd give these like a six and a half out of 10. You definitely get some truffle flavor, but I feel like you get mostly potato chip flavor, which I would just buy a pack of plain potato chips which I would never do. The next thing I grabbed is probably the weirdest thing I grabbed and it's watermelon jerky, which is like dried watermelon. Oh, I guess you could literally see that as I was holding it. <laughs> Joke is on me. Oh, oh my God, ew, oh my God, ew. I'm not gonna lie, this smells repul- <laughs> What is this? <laughs> oh, it's gonna get ooh. I'm sorry, I just don't think I can do this today. I've been through too much this week. Oh my God, it's only Monday? Okay, that's interesting. Now, the next thing I got were these almond windmill cookies. I don't think the plastic could have been any louder. I really love almond flavored things, so I'm hoping these are good, but... Oh, it's like... Oh! Okay. Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh! Okay, we have a new winner. We have a new winner. I wish I never tried these because I will never not be able to buy these now. I can't get over this. They're just so... Crunchy, but yet buttery, yet almondy. Anyways, I'm just using all of the adjectives on the front label. I'm not saying I should win a Nobel Prize for not eating the entire box in one sitting, but holy shit. This next thing I have seen all over everywhere, and it is the Everything But The Bagel Seasoned Kettle Cooked Potato Chips. If you know Trader Joe's, you probably know they're Everything But The Bagel Seasoning, but they have potato chips now that are cooked with the seasoning on it. I will say that Everything But The Bagel Seasoning did kind of get ruined when I tried making everything bagel ice cream. I have it. Oh wow, yep, this gives me flashbacks. Ooh. That ice cream was like trauma, fully. Full, head-on trauma. This is what they look like. It's a potato chip. Ugh. Yeah, that's like, fine. Ugh. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Did you guys hear that I don't like it? No, I mean, they're not like the worst chips, but I... These are not as good as I thought they were gonna be. I saw this and I'm already wondering why I bought these. I got ghost pepper potato chips and I, oh my God, if spicy flavors bring you joy. Oh, there's like a poem. If spicy flavors bring you joy more than any gamer toy, then try these chips with loads of heat and crunch that simply can't be beat. We've used a chili called the ghost Providing heat, which we can boast. It's hotter in jalapeno or habanero, and so we issue you a darrow to grab a bag and take a bite of chips packed full of ghostly fright. Okay, wow. Yeah, my life was already on the rocks before that little haiku. I'm kind of nervous, but I will say I like these chips. They're like little waffle kids. Little wa- Little waffle kids? Anyways, here's to hoping this allows me to never talk again. <laughs> Wasn't that bad. I know that the last seven seconds of my reaction said something entirely different than that, but it really is like actually a satisfying heat. I guess my tongue does feel like it's <laughs> inflated. For the next thing I picked out, I've actually never bought cereal from Trader Joe's, so I figured let's see what this is about. I also had an oat milk, so I grabbed that and we're gonna try both of these together. I don't need to explain why I'm doing that. It's like cereal. I'm obviously gonna put the cereal in the bowl before the milk because I'm not a cereal killer. Now we're gonna pour it into the thing. I almost missed the bowl completely. Wait, hold the fuck up. This shit's been around and I've never had it. This is so good. I will say that the clusters in this are ginormous. My mouth feels like it went through a mulcher. Like I can feel dead skin swinging 
like Sia from a chandelier. The next thing I got was this almond butter chia overnight oats, and I've never had overnight oats. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, this is giving me five minute crafts cardboard bowl that they tried to get me to make. I'm a little triggered, but here we go. Oh my God, this is literally just blended up cardboard and water. Cheers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Consistency? I can't do. I like literally cannot do it. That seemed dramatic. God, that was also just bad. Oh my god, bitches out here in LA are just eating this? Ooh! I like actually have chills of how much that consistency I did not like. Anyways, yeah, I am a grown man uh, squirming over oatmeal. We're nearing the end of this non-stop thrill ride. These I'm actually very excited to try. They're Trader Joe's PB&J Crispy Peanut Butter... Is this really what they're called? Oh, no, they're just called Trader Joe's PB&J. It's basically Dunkaroos, but like peanut butter tubes that you dip in jelly. I'm a sucker for a gimmick, and what is this? I mean, honestly, like the biggest gimmick you can find. Oh my god, look how fucking cute this is. To be a kid and be like, hey, mom, I want a PB&J, and they're like, sorry, we're out of peanut butter, but what about a PB&J? I <laughs> love this. First of all, these taste like nutter butters. Second of all, this dipped in there is like an uncrustable but with a little bit of a crunch. My mouth is like literally over salivating over this. Oh my God. Wow, kids do not know how good they have with these. I mean, what's stopping me, a 27 year old from breathing these like oxygen? Quite literally nothing. To Joe come a traitor. Bitch, I'd trade sex for these. I mean, I'd trade sex for pretty much anything at this point. I'm honestly just getting so full that I feel like I could vomit. But I saw that Trader Joe's basically has their own version of Pringles. Just gonna say they definitely don't smell like Pringles. Yeah, not worth it. Anyway, it's like, how do you fuck up a Pringle, Joe? Guess what, Joe? You did do it. You did it, Joe. You fucked up a Pringle. Wow, I feel like I have not had this much processed food in, I guess since lunch. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. And if there's anything I didn't try from Trader Joe's that I should, leave a comment down below. Also, go be sure to check out the Omaze campaign down below to benefit the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and enter for your chance to win amazing prizes. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go shame eat these alone, not on camera, because, I don't know, apparently I think I have dignity left still to protect. <laughs> Who knows, but gotta go live my dreams. Bye.